I'm playing DDR in Trailmakers, guys. Let's just let's just take that in for a second. I appreciate that. How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Trailmakers, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm driving a grasshopper, so you know we must be checking out some more of the best Trailmakers creations. And today's gonna be a really good episode because, well, we've seen the biggest update yet in terms of new blocks. We have Logic Gate blocks now in the game, which basically means you can program your creations. On top of that, we have sensors and a bunch of other new blocks, so uh, I think it's gonna be a really good episode here, checking out some crazy new designs and uh, uh, yeah, evidently driving around grasshoppers as well. I gotta say, for a walker, this is probably one of the best ones I've played with in Trailmaker so far. So this shows potential, and you can actually turn this one as well, and it does work very, very well, as you can see. But today is not all about driving around beautifully mustached grasshoppers. We got some other cool things to check out, so let's get right into it and do that. So starting off with, I figured we'd do something that kind of showcases how these new logic blocks work. Now, what you're looking at right now is all the logic blocks set to program this creation, and what we got in front of us is Dance Dance Revolution, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, now you can live out your Dance Dance Revolution dreams in Trailmaker. So how we do this one is we have to sit in the middle here, and there we go, we have a countdown, and we basically play Dance Dance Revolution. So we got right, you have to do it at the right time too, or you will screw up, so you can't just judge ahead of time, and uh, yeah, this is actually working remarkably. Oh my god, this is so weird. I'm playing DDR in Trailmakers, guys. Let's just let's just take that in for a second and appreciate that. And I gotta say, I'm doing damn good at it. I wonder if it actually speeds up. Uh, oh, damn it, I, I must have screwed up there. So yeah, it doesn't look like it gives a score or anything yet, but uh, still really cool. And uh, yeah, that's kind of how the logic blocks work. And really, the possibilities are endless with these things, because... Uh, you can code them however you want. So we also have a skateboard that's utilizing the new sensors. You actually control this by actually skating. So I'm assuming, yes, when you move ahead, you... <laughs> oh my god, this is so weird. You can turn to the right with these ones, obviously, to the left. Now what happens? Oh! <laughs> what? No! I wanted to play with that! I was having fun! Oh god, I, I don't think that one's coming back, guys. We're gonna have to spawn another one in. Okay, this is too damn awesome, though. I don't know what happened there. I'm assuming... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy now. I don't... <laughs> this is... Okay, I was gonna try and do some tricks on the half pipe. I don't know if that's gonna be possible. Let's make our way over there. So, it looks like it does ramp up the speed the further ahead you are, too. Problem is, you're constantly sliding. It's kind of nice, though. You're constantly sliding to the middle, so it kind of, like, stabilizes you on the actual creation. My god, this is amazing. Oh, there's a... There's an ollie somewhere. How do you do the ollie? Whoa, 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 no, not again! Okay, hold on. Okay, this one's okay. Jesus. So, I'm figuring out that if we jump maybe in the middle? How did I do that ollie? Alright, let's see if we can even make it up the big ramp. So, I'm gonna do my best to churn here. There we go. What? Oh, oh, god damn it. Okay, so, it's a fine line between going fast and doing a flip trick. So, uh, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is, what? No, you didn't even go on the ground! Oh my god, this is, I gotta be honest, this is like my seventh board. So, uh, these things like to fly away, clearly. Alright, so let's line it up as good as we can, cause, uh, oh my god, you cannot lag on me right now. This is not the time to lag. I just wanna try and do one flip trick up here, damn it. Oh, 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 easy. Problem is, the higher the incline, the <laughs> god damn it, it doesn't work. Oh man, my dreams of skateboarding and trail makers is starting to dwindle. Maybe we can do a flip trick, though. Okay, so let's- Oh! 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 God damn! You know what? I might have something to this. Okay, hold on. No, stop that! Stop flying! I don't- I don't know what I'm doing to make you fly. Oh god, there's some sensors on it, and it's gone again. So it seems like when it flips upside down and it's in the air, it just flies away. Uh, which is kind of frustrating as a skateboard. You generally don't want those things to fly away, so come on, I just want to do an ollie or something. Okay, come on. Bam! Bam! Ah, oh, almost kickflip. Head flip? I, I don't know. You know what? Yeah, it seems like... <gasps> oh, God. Oh, I can show you the world. Goodbye. Uh, okay, so, although impressive, the skateboards need some work before you can do any sort of major tricks on them. 
All right, moving on to the next creation. We got a big old box. Now, excuse the noise. Uh, it happens with creations. Uh, that's why I'm so far away right now. But uh, recently there was a, a build challenge. I don't know the actual theme of it, but there was a bunch of box builds where I think there's like a surprise inside. So on this one, we have some sensors on the top. I'm just going to stand on those. And Whoa. Okay. I did not expect to be... What the hell are you doing to me? I'm so excited. I, ha I have no idea what this is, but uh, it looks like it's a little ship. Okay. Do I do something here? Or is it just gonna... Oh, God. Yeah, okay. I think... I think it's gonna send me to... Sp <laughs> oh, my God! What the... I haven't pressed the damn button, guys, just so you know. That was all automated. And we're in a spaceship that's actually extremely stable. I, I, I could just walk around in this thing. I mean, look, I'm not even on any sort of seat or anything. I'm literally just standing in here. What the hell? What was that? That was amazing! Alright, well, with something this stable, we can see how far we can go. It's a safe bet that we can go quite far in this game. My god, I just I just watched a 3D printer basically build a spaceship for me. That was amazing. Actually, how the hell am I gonna get down? I can't... I can't... Oh god, okay. Oh, oh, I'm breaking it. You know what? This actually works. Let me out! I want out! I don't want... Whoa! Oh my god. What the hell just happened? Okay, well, I'll see you later. That was really fun, and evidently it works extremely well. What the hell? What the- What is this? Am, am I actually walking? <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I like it. Oh my god. Oh god, it's got some firepower on it too. Okay, well, this one impressed me. So I'm now checking out all these box creations because there was quite a few of them that I downloaded, but uh, there's one that's supposed to be spawned in deep water, so I'm obviously very curious about that. So let's see if we can spawn this thing here. Okay, well here we are. There's only two buttons to press. Now, please ignore that one over there. That one exploded for some reason, so let's press this. Oh. Oh, am I, am I supposed to be surprised right now? Uh, okay, we'll press the other button. Oh my god, what's going on? Uh, oh god. Uh, what the hell? Okay, now, now, now I'm clearly tripping out, right? That one, what? Let's try that again. What the hell is going on? Okay. I'm, what? What is this? I'm in a sub. This is not supposed to work this way. I'm so confused. Okay, well, this one was a weird one, to say the least. Oh, hey, look. They're all driving around now. Oh, my God. Was that supposed to happen? Am I flying? I am so confused right now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I did it right, if I did it wrong. But now I, I'm, I'm in a, a little submarine. So I'm assuming that was the right way to do it. Let's see what happens when we hit the water. Can we actually control this thing? I mean, yeah, I can totally control this thing. So I think that was just a very fancy way of spawning in a sub. It works about 50% of the time, I'll say that. All right, and next up we have the DeLorean, ladies and gentlemen, from Back to the Future. Yes, indeed. Oh, God. Oh, that's bad. Okay, that is a national treasure gone now. My bad. All right, there we go. Just like new. Now, before we get into actually time traveling, I mean, I wish. I don't know how that would work in Trailmakers, but this thing does have some unique features. I did want to show this big box up in front of us. This is really cool if you are a player of Trailmakers, because this basically turns anywhere you want into an actual racetrack. This is a lap timer, so we'll pass it right now, and it looks like we're on a 35 lap. You see that? Now, basically, let's just pretend we're on a track right now. We're getting a little bit of lag for some reason. Uh, but yeah, basically, every time you pass that, it's going to time your lap. So we should be on a really good lap right now. The top will show the fastest lap. The bottom will show your current lap. So it looks like, were we, did we even do the exact same one? Or did it just break? Nope, there we go. So a 47 there. So yeah, that's just a great way to time laps. Now let's get this thing up to 88 miles per hour and bam! We got flight, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed, we have flight. Wow, this is a, a 
Okay, so it's actually very slow in the air. That's a, that's a really weird feeling uh, craft, but does fly extremely well. I'm not really pressing anything, which is impressive. So it basically just hovers, I think. Oh God, nope. Okay, now now I, I've waterlogged the system. So I think it's more of a glider than an actual flyer. By the way, we have some rockets as well, but uh, yeah, basically you just tap a button, you fly for a little bit, and then you put your wheels back down and crash. Okay, you need a little bit of distance between the ground and where you land, I guess. Let's try that again. I'm gonna reset. Full throttle. We'll, we'll do a better landing this time. Oh my god, it has a siren as well. I didn't even notice that. Okay, come on, land it. Oh, oh. Did I, did I lose a wheel? Nope, we're okay. So yeah, pretty cool little design here. Let's see if we can fly. Oh yeah, we can totally fly up. Oops. And this is gonna hurt. This is really gonna hurt. Oh god. I can't do much about it. I'm gonna try and fly. Lower the landing, lower the landing. Ah, oh, it wasn't enough though. We almost had a good landing there. That's impressive though. Check, check out that landing. That's what I'm talking about. Well, this looks dangerous and that's always fun. So we got uh, two blades on the top and me. Talk about uh, dangerous. So what do we do? Okay, so we do that to do that. Oh, oh. Oh, I like it. Okay, a little, little bit of damage there, but uh, oh, this is so smart. So to go up or down, it just rotates the blades back and forth. Now, can I actually, yes, I can lean it. I can actually pilot this thing. And uh, I gotta say, we can probably go pretty damn fast with it if we use the momentum of me falling to my advantage. But that is so cool. So it's just such a simple idea. Basically, you just flip the blades and you're good to go. Let's reset that real quick. And then when they're right in the middle, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't even go upwards or downwards. So that is showing kind of how the aerodynamics work in this game and it's pretty damn impressive. So yeah, really cool. And of course, we have a Chinook as well. Uh, yeah, this is impressive to say the least. It looks like it rotates its uh, wings as well. Oh wow, you actually rotate them the turn as well. That is really, really impressive. All right, so let's see. Okay, so that's for th forward momentum. Oh, you can actually lean these. Oh my God. Once I figure out how to fly you, I'm going to be so excited. Oh, there we go. Obviously it's that button. And let me see. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, this is, this is why I shouldn't fly helicopters. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I figured out that rotating the blades is not what you want to do. Now, I have figured out how to fly it. So yeah, you can actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no, 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 oh God. Okay, this is a hard one, guys. This is a hard one to say the least. Let me try that again. All right, so as long as you don't do the fancy things like the double lean, I think you're totally good to fly this thing. It do... It's not that bad. The problem is anytime you turn, it just wobbles the whole damn thing. But let's uh, pick up some speed here. See how fast we can get this Chinook to go. Man, it is hard to control, I am not gonna lie. It's constantly rotating one way, so trying to fight that, and then, <laughs> I don't know what I did. But we're falling out of the sky now, man. We're going down! Okay, very impressive to look at. Probably if you get better with the controls, you could do a hell of a lot better than me with it. Uh, well that was cool. Oh my, oh God, what am I doing? Okay, hold on. So, really? It turned, <laughs> that is brilliant. Okay, so I made my own wheels, guys. Uh, yeah, this is what this one's all about. <laughs> I'm actually impressed with how well they're sticking together. And when you're bored, you can do stuff like that. All right, what happens when we press it the other way? So we're gonna, oh, oh, that's, yeah, that's definitely not gonna work that way. Okay, so that button's not meant to be pressed. Oh, it has weapons too? I'm getting more and more impressed with this thing, so yeah. Basically, you make your own wheels, and uh, yeah, oh my god, <laughs> they're so wobbly. Like, look what I turned, look at the front wheel, it's, it's almost like a spring. If it works though, don't fix it, and goddamn, this thing does work great. I mean, 30 miles an hour on blocks like this, that is damn impressive, I just shot my wheel off, oh my god. And we're still going, doesn't even matter. Oh my god, oh my god, it's majestic! It is so majestic, hold on, let me fix the view here, guys, this is pretty bad. Oh my god! I have a running bipedal walker. I mean, it's a little drunk, but it works. 
it actually freaking works. I mean, it's utilizing jet power to balance itself a little bit, so it's not a legit bipedal walker, but I can control it, I can steer it, and God damn it, I'm a beautiful mech! Oh, I just love how it's like a drunk walker. The great thing about creative games like this at the start, all the uh, walkers look like drunk walkers, and that, that, that's my favorite time in the game, because people are trying new things, people are learning how things work, and uh, yeah, things like this come out, and it's majestic as hell. All right, this next one's just a performance-focused design. This is a speed-focused plane, so as you can tell, uh, extremely nimble design. This is supposed to be a really good race plane, so... Uh, yeah, I figured I'd show you some that are just performance designs as well. Really, really cool. Look at this mountain, man. I don't, I don't remember this mountain. I wonder if they added... They might have added a little bit to the map. I'm not certain, but uh, this looks really, really cool. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys not only some cool designs, but some performance designs as well, just in case you are curious about them. I want to see how fast this thing could go. I haven't been really going in a straight line. It's supposed to be able to go over 500, so... Oh yeah, no problem at all. Now that we're going straight... Look at that, 600. Man, we are rocketing. And pull up, pull up. There we go. Can we land the thing? That's the bigger question. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Landed. I mean, the plane's gone, but I'm still here, damn it. All right, and to end off the episode, we have the smallest car possible in Trail Makers. It's actually utilizing a glitch uh, to hide the actual motors inside the uh, cockpit. So it uses a piston glitch to do that. And, uh... Man, I, you legit cannot get smaller than this. I'm going to spawn it in just so you can see. And everything is inside this compartment. So it's got two motors. And, uh, yeah, this is quite adorable. Oh, God. Okay. Steering extremely hard. All right. I got to say it is damn quick, though. And it doesn't really flip too much. So there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we almost did a backflip. Oh, I have no idea if I have an engine left. Okay, it's safe to say there's probably nothing left at all. Uh, but yeah, I figured I'd show you this to kind of show you a glitch craft as well. And on that, we're going to wrap up this episode of Trail Makers here. So I hope you guys enjoy checking out a bunch of new amazing creations. I got to say, I'm blown away by Trail Makers every time I come back and check it out. And yeah, I'm excited to see where this possibly goes in the future. So thanks so much for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.